I just bought $1,000 of HBAR, and I'm going to show you why we did it. If we take a look at one of our wallets, we got about $80,000 in this wallet. And if we go down to our assets and we click on HBAR, you can see we bought right here. It says 993 because of commission, but $1,000. We'll look at the spreadsheet here in a second after we go look at the chart. Now, taking a look at HBAR, we just bought $1,000 worth. I'm going to show you in a minute what price we got, where we're currently at. But let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. HBAR right now. This morning, it is uh, April the 13th, about 6.30 in the morning, HBAR is down 1.81%, coming in at 0.0864. Now, I like HBAR. That's why I just bought $1,000 worth, but let's take a look at the charts to see what is our next step. So you can see here that we have this nice head and shoulder pattern. Now, a head and shoulder pattern is a reversal pattern if it's confirmed. So what I mean by that is you can see this line right there. We would call it the neckline. Now that broke yesterday and it broke with a vengeance. The market was down big. So you can see we crashed through that and we came into my support level of 0 0.07 and I bought right there. Now we had a ready aim fire buy signal. So even though things were looking super ugly at that time, the the crypto market was falling apart. I bought some. Where could this go next? And where would I want to pick up some more? So I'm expecting a nice bear flag rally. You can see that the TTM squeeze just fired. Now this indicator, I love it. It's the Squeeze Pro. It lets you know when these coins are setting up for a big move. Just look at this. We were in that squeeze. That green dot means that volatility expanded. We say that it fired and look at the move, all right? Look what happened last time it was in the squeeze and it fired. So this indicator is freaking amazing. Now, this one down here, we had that green sticker. So that told me that things were starting to heat up. Now, if you look at price action alone, you won't see it, but I saw it right there and I got that buy signal and when we crashed, Oh man, I took advantage of that. Let's go look at the spreadsheet, what we bought, where we're at, then we'll come back to the charts. Here's our spreadsheet, HBAR. So I updated it yesterday, 412. We spent $1,000. Let me bring over Coinbase. So you can see I like to use Coinbase. This is where I bought it, right here. I bought a lot of stuff yesterday. HBAR, limit order, we bought $1,000 worth. So taking back a look at that spreadsheet, 11000 656.10 coins. We picked it up at $0.0853 thousand dollars. And right now, again, this I just got it in this trade the other day. It's worth $1,015. So we've already made 15 bucks. And um, poof, if HBAR does what we think it is, we should make a lot more than that. Let's go back to the chart, take a look at where HBAR could go in the future. So what am I expecting to happen with HBAR? I told you I'm expecting that nice bear flag rally. So maybe this momentum will start to shift. We'll get, you know, a little hookup on that. And then I'm expecting to kind of come back down, maybe form what's called a divergence and ultimately work its way back up to that 10 cent mark. Now, if we break that 10 cents, come back and test that, then I'm looking for 12 cents. So that first line of attack would be 10 cents, 12 cents, and then get back up there to that 13 cent range. And ultimately, if we break that 13% range, let me go do the Fibonacci down here, from about here, we're looking at an ultimate price target of 18 cents in this short term run. Now, when the bull run hits, it's gonna explode probably a lot higher than that, but we're talking about short term active trading. And then of course, we got this uh, 1.28 at 15 cents, 16 cents, so I'm looking for a bear flag to come back down. If the seven cent area can hold and we can start to hook up and shift that momentum, 10 cents is in the work. And then ultimately 12, 14-ish, maybe 13, 5, 14. And then if we break through that, then we can look to go back up to around 18 to 20 cents. Now, what if we break down? What's going to happen at HBAR if we break down? So if we come back down to the seven cents again and we break that to the bottom. Here's where I'm expecting HBAR to go down to that six 
cent range. And if that happens, this red EM fire is going to keep making lower lows. That squeeze you're going to continue to see just like this. That volatility just explosion and we gonna drop. And if we drop below that, so I would first of all, if we drop down to that six cents level, I'm gonna pick up some more and I'll shoot the video. And then down here to the five cents after that, oh my God, anything is possible. Taking a look at my Traders Edge X crypto software. I love this software for trading view. It lets us know what the institutions are doing and what retail is doing. Right now we got this diamond. Okay, and it's red. So institutions right now are coming out of H bar, at least temporarily, but we're undervalued. And I'm looking for that nice, if we go back in time, that nice accumulation sticker to kick back in to let me know that they're coming back to the party. But right now, they're coming out. Looking at retail, they're also selling. We just got a sell signal the other day. We're undervalued. So right now, as far as where's the money flow undervalue, hey, thing people are selling. And as soon as this changes, I'm going to see this bad boy shift to the green. That's going to let me know institutions are coming back to the party. And if this is red, then retail is still selling. We definitely want to take advantage of their fear. There it is. I like H bar. I mean, I just put $1,000 into this bad boy and I'm going to start rolling. If we drop down even lower, I'm going to buy some more, ultimately looking for that, you know, 18 cents. I can get back to 18 cents and beyond, but we've got some hurdles along the way. I might be adding, you know, a little bit or scaling in some more as we work our way back up to that target, but I'll shoot the video and let you know what happened. Now, if you're interested in learning how to trade this crypto market successfully or any of the indicators that I use, whether it's the uh, Trader's Edge X Crypto, which tells you what the big money's doing, what retail's doing, TTM Squeeze Pro, Radium Fire Pro, make sure you check down below in the description. And if you get that, let me know. I'm going to help you for sure. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Hit that little bell to get notified when I shoot a brand new video. And if you want to see what happens next with HBAR, click right here. This is going to be part two. Now, if that video is not ready yet and you like Dogecoin, ooh, Doge might be setting up for a big move. Check out right here.